Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and somehow it's Smarch. Lousy Smarch weather. It's also time for Ask Herbert Erpaderp. I'm Herbert Erpaderp, and things have been asked, so I guess I'll answer them. Commence reading the questions, question bot. Trakan Belovich said, What do you think about pimping up Ranch Sim you play with Barnaby? Let the viewers select out which goat or cow will be next in the fun house. That does seem like a good fun idea, at least on the surface, but the animals in Ranch Sim are so difficult to try and wrangle, especially the goats, so I would prefer not to have to try and select specific individual animals for the fun house. It's first come first serve, I guess. Maybe if they behaved a bit better. Martin Gotham said, if there was a model of the Bob Simple tank, would you get it? Of course, who wouldn't? People who don't do models, I guess. I'm sure somebody might say, but there are resin and 3D printed ones. And that is true, but they aren't plastic kits, are they? And that's what I would want. Martin Gotham said, how did you meet Barnby? <laughs> Barnby. I know it's just a simple typo, but it entertained me. Anyway, it was way back in, I think 2006 or maybe 2007, and the band I was in was looking for another guitarist. Somebody suggested we give Barnaby a try, and he pretty much fit right in, especially with me. We were both very sensible people. Still are. Dominican Boy said, What military vehicle or civilian vehicle would you love to see in person, but haven't yet? If you already have, what was it? There's a whole bunch. It's really difficult to narrow it down to one thing though. I guess the main ones I can think of right now are the TOG, and a BT-7 would be pretty cool to see, especially if it could actually do a sick jump for me, that'd be nice. I would be pretty interested in seeing any tank in person, especially if it was running. Trains too. I'd love to see some British steam locomotives in action. And things like the big boy too. Or pretty much any steam engine. And a lot of diesels too. I'm sure there are more special examples I'd love to see in person, but I'll probably only remember them 10 minutes after uploading this. Trakan Belovich said, You've built a Moors in 1100 scale, in 172 scale, and in 156 scale. That's enough Moors, or do you need some more? Heh, <laughs> Moors. Question bot needs to learn how to speak. What an idiot. To add another to the previous question, I would like to see the mouse too. That'd be cool. And to answer this question, I feel like I could certainly have more mouses. I haven't got one in 35th or 48th scale. Or 16th scale. Maybe I should. Martin Gotham said, How come you stop using Tomia liquid cement? I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was because I needed more glue, and the shop I was already buying kits from didn't have any Tamiya Extra Thin in stock, but they did have SMS Extra Thin. I don't have any problems with Tamiya, but I'm not exactly loyal to their brand or anything, so I figured why not give it a go. SMS is an Australian company, and it's pretty much exactly the same thing as Tamiya, so I felt like it was a better choice, so I kept using it. Monal said, if you could own a mech, would you rather own one with two legs, four legs or six legs? If none of these, what number of legs would you prefer? I think I would choose a mech with four legs. It would probably be a bit more stable. And if video games have taught me anything, it's that I would need all the help I can get. Actually, maybe I'd want one with five legs. Four legs for walking, and one extra independent leg for stomping things. The regular legs could also stomp, but the fifth one would be an extra powerful, more weaponized stomp. What a sensible idea. Trakan Belovich said, are you the school champion in dumplings eating still? I can't remember the last time I had anything that could be described as a dumpling. Maybe I should change that. Anyway, I am definitely still the champion. Now for some YouTube questions. Jacobi17 said, LOL, why would you be friends with people that don't do models? I'm not sure if you're being facetious or not, but I would think the answer is obvious. Having friends with a wide variety of interests and hobbies is, well, more interesting. You get to hear different perspectives and be exposed to new things, and that should, usually, lead to being a more interesting and well-rounded person yourself. Don't get me wrong, I love models and modelling, but I would really hate for it to be my only thing, and the only thing I talked about and formed friendships around. Same for anything else I enjoy. 
I don't think I'll ever understand how people can have only one singular interest in their life, and I understand it even less when they make it into an us vs them thing. Seems pretty tedious to me. Martin's Train Adventures said, Does your layout have a silly station name? My layout doesn't have a station to give a silly name to. I was considering having a passenger station on what I think of as the back of the layout, but decided against it. I do, however, plan on having various industries and shops and things, with silly names and references to things. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I've also been trying to think of a name for the town that I'll be modelling, and the layout itself. I just haven't come up with anything satisfying. Assington, or whatever, might be funny for a moment, but I want something a bit more clever. That's it for the questions, let's go and check out some of the models that have been shared on Discord over the last month. Peter and Co shared this very nicely done Vespered Centurion Mark V-1. This is a really nice model, even if there's a lot of frustrating photo etch, and it looks even better the way Peter and Co has painted it. It looks like it's been very well used, and it's even collected some vegetation. Or maybe it hasn't been washed in so long that it's growing there. Either way, I think that's a really nice touch. I also really like the rust effect on the muffler covers, and of course, everybody's favourite, very mature pussy eater decal has been used. Awesome work. Sneaky Zaku shared this adorable little Argentinian Garrett. I think Garretts are really interesting locomotives. I do usually think of the bigger ones when I hear the name, but this little, I assume narrow gauge one, is really cool. Trekan Belovich shared a six pounder which is hiding in the bushes. This is a 15mm scale plastic soldier company model, and it's been painted up very nicely, depicting a six pounder being used by the guard's armoured division. The little insignia on the figures is really nicely done, especially when you consider just how small 15mm scale figures are. You can also see the Lloyd carrier which I shared last month, it must be looking for some people named Lloyd to carry away. Ah, ah, ah. Vetron X shared this MiG-21 SMT, and I definitely know what SMT stands for. Oh yeah? What is it then? Uh, Super Muffin Transport. Yeah, I want a muffin. Anyway, this is a nice looking model. It's an Edward kit, though I'm not sure of the scale, but that doesn't really matter. It looks cool, and that's what counts. I really like the way the cockpit looks. That's a nice blue colour. Very cool. And that's it for the models, and indeed the entire Ask a Herbert Erpaderp. As always, a big thank you to the folks who share their modelling work and ask questions, and an even bigger thank you to those who support through Patreon and Coffee or Twitch subs. It's very much appreciated. I hope you have an excellent March, the month not the physical movement kind, and if you've got a question, be sure to leave it in the comments below or over on Discord. There will probably be answers next month. Subscribe if you want, support on Patreon or Coffee if you're able, and why not check out some of my live streams, either over on Twitch or here on YouTube. Links are in the description below. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.